that cam that I put in here like how many years ago? Hey guys. Hey guys. Welcome <laughs> back to our channel. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, we actually get to the transmission in this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday. Uh, me and Mama have been up for a little bit. And Grandma and Papa are going to take off here in a, in a few minutes. And I got to roll out too. But we're just slowly getting our day started. A little Grand Funk Railroad. Some Three Dog Night. I got to go work on my sister's truck today, among other things. So we're just getting our day rolling. Usually on Saturdays, I like to hang out at the house and take a while to get my morning started. Just be at the house. But heading in earlier than normal on Saturdays seems to be the norm now. Uh, I got to get this truck unloaded from this trailer. And in order to do that, I got to change a high pressure fuel filter in the red work truck I was working on last week. And I need to move a few things around and create access to the lift. So then we can back the trailer in and then uh, unload the truck. That way I won't have to unload it and then work on stuff and move stuff around and then push it into the shop and get it on the lift. So right now I'm just gonna work on a few things, get it done right away and then use the truck and trailer to put it where the lift is. Of course, I have to make a quick stop for a monster get my day started. I don't want to be taking out for a break today, so I gotta get a big can. I finally cleaned all this up, put everything away. Right here seems like I can be all right working on it. <clears throat> I see that there's new terminals on the battery and new cables. That's awesome. Fuel filter. High pressure fuel filter for the 7.3 liter in the Super Duty. And that filter that we're going to change goes underneath this little shroud here and it is right there. This is sometimes hard to unscrew, but usually you just stick a screwdriver in there and you twist it, it'll work. Sometimes it's a little hard to get to because this might be in the way or these might be in the way, which are the fuel lines. But a lot of times when you take this off, you can take a flathead or something and you can put it in between these notches. and if you uh, give it a nice, you gotta have some room first. If you give it a nice crank on it, you should be able to loosen this up. Okay. And then there's your filter. This is usually going to make a mess, so put that right there. Okay, usually that's the hardest part, getting the wrapper off of it. But this is what the filter should look like. This filter, I'm told, has never been changed, so it's probably a good thing that we're changing it right now. I put the new seal on this one, all around there in the little area provided for it. So then this one will push in. There's a rubber grommet on it, so you kind of have to push it in there and make sure it seats properly. And then when that does, there's also another little ring here. This ring looks like we've also got a new one of those. So we will put this on there. And then we will replace this filter cover.
And then when this gets to the bottom, we'll use the screwdriver and make sure it's tight again. Okay, I am done with the red one. This one, I was supposed to get ready to get the hood back on yesterday, so right now I'm gonna clean up the wiring. Now that I'm not gonna add anything or take anything away from it, I'm gonna reloom all of this and I'm gonna get everything ready in here for the hood to go back on. And I'll get the hood back on today so we can move it in and out of the way as we're working on other stuff while I'm working on the inside. I've had a short in here for the duration of however long I've been working on this truck. I've had a problem with running the stuff that's on the keyed 12 volt to anything because it seems like they're always on. And I finally took the time to just unwrap all the tape until I can find what I was looking for. And I'm not too sure if you can see this, but you can see on this yellow wire, something is melted. So, so, the, so there's some electrical tape and some uh, wire cover, the plastic cover that covers the wires. There's a lot of that melted to there. And if you look further, it's that purple wire. This purple wire right here seems to have grounded out on something and it is melted all the way throughout. So I'm not even sure how far the extent of this damage is right now. Looks pretty bad. Right in there. And that's just the beginning of what I'm finding. More melting, more melting. I came back to the house for a bit. I was was working on that wiring, found some new problems. I thought the hood was ready to go back on, but, well, I mean, the hood is ready to go back on, but I thought with the hood going back on, I would be ready to go with that truck, but I found some problems in the dash, so even if I get the hood back on, my truck's not gonna be done. I came back home to get something to eat. I have to go run out to my mom's house. I have to go run to a couple of places, so I'm gonna go do that and I'll see if I make it back to the shop, I guess. I need to finish that green truck before I can start on my sister's truck. I thought I was gonna be done today, but I guess not. Today's Saturday. I'm supposed to be chilling at home today, chilling for my week. Damn, we need a vacation. It is a little bit later on in the afternoon. After I left from the house, I went to Rock Springs to go to my mom's house. And then when I left from there, I had to do something about this noise. So I stopped by Gas Max and I had to put in some uh, power steering fluid. And uh, I was putting in oil too. And I saw again, how bad the head gasket is getting. So definitely on the list of things I need to do. Now that I'm in town, I gotta head back over here to the shop. I gotta finish up this green truck. And I gotta get my sister's truck on the lift still. I guess I'm back over here to figure this out. I got a few things I gotta do before I put this all back together. Man, it was such a long day, man. I got some of the wiring fixed. I finally got the signalized to work only when the key is on. And I'm still trying to figure out why the back brake lights are giving me problems. There's a, an emergency flasher switch on the dash and then there's an emergency flasher switch on the new steering column that's retrofit for the... It's a, it's a modern steering wheel and it's made for classic trucks and classic cars. When you are restoring an old vehicle, you can buy this new steering wheel and put it in, but it's just the same as buying an aftermarket radio where like a lot of the wires that come out of the dash are gonna be like crazy colors, you know? Like pink with the green stripe and like yellow with an orange stripe and red with the white stripe and stuff like that. But when you get an aftermarket radio, just the same with this aftermarket steering wheel, the colors are pretty simple. So it's got like a black, a brown, a green, purple, 
red, yellow, blue. The schematic for it just tells me what they're for. One will say like um, brake feed, one says four-way feed, uh, one says like horn button. So it doesn't actually say what goes to what and from the indicator switch, which is in the steering wheel, uh, which would be like the, it's a little switch that takes care of like the brake lights, the hazard flashers, the signal lights to either side, um, stuff like that. And all the power for the light from the fuse runs through that. So I have a problem trying to like get everything figured out. I can get it to work one way. So with the emergency flasher on the dash, that's actually what turns them on and off. But if I turn the emergency flasher on on the dash, while the emergency flasher is on on the steering wheel, then the brake lights will work. The problem with the wiring and the switch on that is the way it runs through the back tail lights, something is up. Because when I'm using the, if I push the brake pedal in on that truck, if the emergency light flasher switch on the steering wheel is on, the brake lights will work and the brake lights turn on in the back and everything but the signal lights don't flash in the back they'll only flash in the front and on the gauges if i turn the emergency flasher switch off on the steering wheel then the signal lights will flash in the back as well as the front but when i step on the brake pedal the brake lights don't light up so the brake lights will only light up separately as signal lights if the emergency flasher switch is off on the steering wheel and then it will only light up together as brake lights if the emergency flasher switch is on on the steering wheel and i was gonna pull the steering wheel off and go through that switch today but i couldn't really find the steering wheel puller so i was already racking my brain with all this wiring and everything else i got going on i'll just save it for tomorrow i took off from the shop and i'm heading back to the house now and uh, it's been a little bit of a long day, especially for a day when I was supposed to be doing stuff at home or driving around with Mama Bear. I made it back to the house. I've actually been back for a couple of hours now. And today, um, I didn't really have a bad day. Like I was busy and I was definitely not feeling it, but it turned out to be a productive day that was just super stressful. And I got home and I feel bad because I showed up with all my ar from the day and Mama Bear and Jackie and Baby D back there they all took part in uh, just reminding me why bad days are not bad at all we're sitting in here in the kitchen eating dinner and apparently this guy's been crying for stuff all day and not eating so he finally ate dinner everybody's good we had some beef pasta tonight. This is the beef pasta, and we really like this. It's simple and it's quick. It's good. We're just going through and checking stuff out while we're sitting in here. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, and we made it to church. <laughs> I have had a little bit of a rough morning, but it's just me. Um, everything around me seems to be alright and I honestly don't know what I would do or where I would go if it wasn't for Mama Bear. <laughs> she fixed the whole morning already just being here but we made it into church. Draven was going to come too but he wasn't ready by the time we had to leave and we had to leave early because we were supposed to get to the church early and uh, with our traffic and our mud and everything we still didn't make it on time. We didn't make so it on time. We made it, we made it on time but we didn't make it early enough to be here early. So we're here at the church now and we're going to head on in Jackson's with us today. I tried to get all the boys to go to today, but that's that's a feat in itself. We're lucky and we got one. So mm -hmm. we took it and we rolled out. <laughs> so we're going to go head in right now and uh, we will see you guys in a couple hours. Ooh, Jackson's wearing his moccasins today. Okay. Rocking the mocks. Yeah, that's that brown really. Good. I love this. Baby walking his mama into church. We are done at church. We spent a couple of hours here. We were hanging out at the end. We were hanging out afterwards because we were going to do uh, Jackson's ordainment. 
into the deacon's quarter. Jackson's old enough to be a deacon this year, so now we are hungry. <laughs> we were kind of hungry, so we got something to eat. <laughs> Jackie got a little cup meal. That oh. is awesome. I, I know. He'll probably mm. need more food, but... Wow, that's we could get cool. Him more. That's probably all he's going to eat, really. I know, really. <laughs> that's perfect. What does it come with? Apples and juice? Apples and juice. Dang, look at all these trucks, bro. Yeah, look at this, it's bad. Where's Philbert? This truck belongs to my bro, Philbert. Pretty nice ride. They just hanging out today. Yeah. yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this guy. Yeah, this truck was gold the last time I seen it. <laughs> that is sick. Man, I can't wait till I build something and hang out out here with these guys. Man, did you still run the bags on it? Yeah, yeah, I'm still running the bags on it. How long have you had this truck? Damn, probably like maybe 15 years. It was given to me and I've had it since then. Just been working on it time to time. It went through a lot of different front ends too. I like this one. I, re I really like the the halo setup yeah. on this one. I haven't seen it at night, but I bet it looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it does. I have all the lights here and the wheels. And the really? Cable, yeah. Man, I remember the last time I seen this one, it had the one whole one right, piece on there. Piece? Yeah. yeah, that's cool, man. Look at the size of this intercooler. Man. Yeah, I want to build a turbo. I want to build a turbo pickup soon, bro. This is sick. And this is the same engine still, huh? Yeah, same engine. Last, man. Still have that same cam, the one you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was looking at pictures of that too. I was yeah. like, man, this thing was sitting behind the house. Yeah, that's cool, man. I can't wait to build mine. Yeah. I can't wait to build one. It's going to be sick. Camp sounds nice, you guys. This is that cam that I put in here, like, how many years ago? A lot of, a few years ago. It's a pretty lopy cam we got going on here. have made it home the road is not so bad today well it's not as bad as it was this morning it's starting to dry up a little more <laughs> kind of cool i thought for some reason we were gonna have to go back to gallop but mama bear just informed me that we have ham that we're supposed to make for dinner it's gonna be awesome it's really not this morning oh oh yeah it was frozen this morning my brain wasn't working this morning. <laughs> well, we're going to hang out here for the rest of the evening. And we got the missionaries coming over in a few hours. So we're just going to kick it. Get some editing done. Probably, what, probably some cleaning. Oh, the only thing we don't have is sweet potatoes. Somebody just made them all. <laughs> <laughs> We just got done with dinner. We had the elders over. 
So we were talking for a bit, having some conversations and some lessons. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you guys for stopping by, checking it out. Thank you guys for all the love and the support. We'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. Take care and stay safe. Peace. Later.